Three smiles. Another day, a late evening edition of our free to play series we like to call Free Smiles. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I would love to get a Hegemon. I really would. All right, let's see what's going on today. We do have a... Yeah, we have a guaranteed uh, a Chagger event going on. And a bunch of Tenexes as well. So 110 boy shards and you can get a Chagger for free. Quote unquote. A free chagger if you open 110 voids, which I do not have. Um, he's actually kind of cool for the, uh, what do you call it? The sand tomb, sand devil dungeon, right? Yeah, it's kind of cool there. That's where he found his niche. But other than that, most people kind of just, well, most people do uh, crunch him, not crunch him, but use him towards the, um, the Romantu. Empowerment. I guess he fit a ton of them laying around, which I did, but uh, yeah, he's he's kind of cool actually. He's kind of cool, but is he worth a guaranteed summon where I would want to blow my voice or just to get this? No, no, I don't think so. But there's also a 10x event going on right now with Ursiga, so she's actually still really good in uh, PvP arena if you want to use her for defense. We have some interesting ones here as well. What's the theme? What is the theme of this tennis, guys? We got a nuker. We got another turn meter manipulator nuker. And then we got this guy, who's pretty solid in clan boss. So what is the theme of this tennis? Just random? I guess kind of just random, right? So I have no business trying to even attempting to summon for an Ursiga because I already have one, first of all. But I'm not really interested in another one. I'd rather wait for the 2x voice summoning, which will be coming up next week and it should align with the new fusion event because we got a new fusion event happening too which is some sylvan champion but getting to the meat and potatoes of this episode guys guys i want to show you guys something okay so in one of my recent videos i put out something that uh let's just say it's something that was available back then which was being able to check how much you spent in raid and they took it away and then recently came back I put out a video uh, Chosen also uh, he he put out a video as well and then yeah so after that it was they removed it again so you're not able to check how much you spent on the game any war more but but a big but I pre-recorded just in case just in case they removed it I recorded at the time on my free to play account just to showcase how much I spent on this account because guys I have been deceiving you guys all this time because a lot of you guys have think I've been thinking you spent on your account right so guys I have a confession to make all right you guys caught me red-handed this is my chance to prove to you guys or chance to show you guys that I actually did end up not spending on my account because I would not do that it's a free to play a series is a free to play account I would not spend on my account all right I was just kidding by the way about the being caught red-handed whatever but yeah so I am proving to you guys in a moment that I did not spend on my account okay so basically if you guys uh, were able to do it and pull, uh, go through with the checking your support page and going to the final end of these uh, the bar the search bar You'll be able to notice after the equal sign, you'll be seeing the amount of money spent on your account and then followed by colon or followed by comma. And the number after that will appear as your account level. And then another comma after that will be your your uh, how many days since you, you started playing the game, whatever. So basically, this is my chance to show you guys how much I spent on my account. So because I know there's a lot of you in the past have been questioning. Uh, with the uh, champions that I have accumulated with the... I don't even think I have crazy progression, to be honest. I'm kind of just... I'm just chilling. Like, I'm not, like, trying to break world records on getting Arbiter, break world records on getting Lydia or whatever. I'm just enjoying the game, enjoying my free-to-play accounts, and just having fun with it. But if you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys will be able to see the progression of how I got most of my champions. 
but a lot of you that are seeing my account for the first time or just just want to hate for no reason so this, this is my account guys all right i have a lot of great legendary champions i do i got super lucky with my void legendaries for sure and yeah like i got cardio hefrak i got uh mountain king of course the, the kaimar huge um most of my other champions you can see here are from fusions the Nekmo is from the, the Guaranteed back in the day. And I mean, yeah, Hefrag is another fusion. A bunch of fusions. And I got lucky with some pulls like as well with the, the Ursica here. And yeah, it's it's not like... Uh, most of my champions here are from fusions. But I got lucky with pulling champions as well. So this is the state of my account as far as like what I have and what I've gotten. Oh, I still got a Gurgle recently, right? That was my recent fusion or recent void legendary that i pulled and yeah yeah so i got more champions in the vault here but those are all my legendary oh i got more here guys so i got more legendary champions here yeah i have 12 more just chilling in the vault here that i'm not really uh using at the moment so i got a lot of legendaries on my account what can i say but here's my chance to prove to you guys now all right guys at the time i'm recording this it is currently february 1st early evening and I just wanted to finally have a chance to show you guys, like actually show you guys live that how much I've actually spent on my free to play account. So a lot of you have claimed in the past that you are not free to play, you are not free to play, etc. whatever. And I mean, I do have a, a lot of great champions that I pulled. And I mean, you can go back and see all my past videos and see me pulling these champions from those shards, most of them anyways and basically like how I've accumulated most of the shards too over the course of time. And I mean, most of you guys already know, I always get the Warrior Circles pack every single day or as much as you see it in the video anyway. And yeah, so here we go. So we're gonna go to porf my portrait here. We're gonna go to the info tab and I'm recording this ahead of time just in case, just in case player decides to remove this bug or feature, whatever you wanna call it, from being able to check how much you spent in the game. and. We go to support channel or support page here and i'm actually going to open up my monitor just ahead of time so you guys can actually see what's going on here and let me remove my sound effects there okay so we have this opened up at the moment and we're going to go ahead and click our uh let me put this to the side real quick we're going to go ahead and click our support page here and then boom now we have our page that appears here which will show you an indicate on how much you actually spent and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to minimize this a little bit so you can see it zoomed up closer. Okay. So this is all I want take. I'm not uh, editing anything here. So you can actually see here. Okay. I'm zooming in like crazy right now. So as you notice here, if you go to the top portion of the page here where the search bar is and you go all the way to the right after the equal sign, you will confirm and see how much you actually spent on the game. And as you can see on my free to play account here, we spent zero dollars. All right, so we are back guys, and there you have it. There is your proof. There is your proof of me not spending a single cent on this account at all, okay? That is, it's, I'm 100% free to play, all right? I did not spend a single dollar on my account here, and that's your proof, okay? So I hope you guys will, some of you out there, I hope you guys stop hating, stop trying to make the assumption that I spent on my account because I haven't, clearly you can see it. Again, the zero you see is the amount I spent, which is zero dollars after the equal sign. Comma is going to be, after that is going to be the, uh, the the count level, right? That you see here at 82. And then the comma after that number is going to be the amount of days since I started playing the game, which is actually a bit different from what I always posted here because I've actually corrected it now because now I know the exact day that I've been playing this account. So we have that correction here. So yeah, there you have it guys. That is my proof of me not spending a single cent on the game. And if you guys still don't, under still don't understand how the numbers work, you can go back to the video that I actually posted. And I went through like three different accounts, uh, one of them being my friend Yulin, and then another giveaway account that I'm gonna do for um, for B4ns, and then another uh, friend's account. I went on three different accounts to showcase the actual difference of the numbers that they spent on the, uh, the account. So yeah, that's pretty much, uh, I hope that is enough proof for you guys to uh, pretty much show you that I'm 100% free to play. Now, I do want to tell you one thing though, because I, I, I want to be completely transparent. 
I, I did spend on this account one time for 99 cents by accidentally purchasing this here on my phone because I was normally I don't go on my free to play account on my phone. I always go on my computer, but for whatever reason on that day, I, I was logged into my account on my phone, my free to play account. And I'm usually accustomed to grabbing these here and there on my main account. I don't buy them anymore, but um, yeah, for whatever reason, I ended up grabbing this and I immediately realized it was on my free to play account. So I didn't even touch it in the mailbox. I left it where it was. I contacted Plarium immediately and I said, hey, I made this purchase by mistake on my free to play account. Can you please remove it or refund or reverse the transaction? Just take it away. It's still in my mailbox. And they actually went ahead and took it away from my mailbox and they also reversed the transaction. So I, I got my refund back for the 99 cents. And yeah, you could even see it in my Play and Play uh, client that the transaction was reversed and it's pretty much a vetoed transaction. So that's why you, the number you still see there is zero even on my proof that I showed you here. So that's just, just being completely transparent with you guys. So I have never spent on this account at all, okay? Just letting you know. All right, so that pretty much covers it for that. And oh my gosh, we got an ancient shard off the shop. That's very nice. Yeah, awesome. All right, so as far as Faction Wars goes, I did do some work on my Faction Wars earlier today. I did do some, I worked on, or yeah, I worked on some Orc Crypt and I got a bunch of stars out of that as well. And I collected three rank three, rank three rank five chickens actually off of, oh no, no, that was something else. Yeah, I collected, what I collect here? I think I collected a voice shard off of this. 786. Um, 786. Okay. Yeah, I collected a voice shard. I collected an epic book. And yeah, we're working on the rest of this now. So I got less than 100 left to go now to get Lydia. Super excited about that. Actually, yeah, a little bit less than 100. And where I actually got three rank five chickens is I started working on my nightmare again. I wanted to try to finish this up and get that last sacred shard just so I can have it out of the way. But I did end up getting more stars here and I collected the three rank five chickens, which is huge. So I can use that towards my other man eater that I'm currently working on. And yeah, so I pretty much already mastered both mastered both my man eaters. I just need to rank him up now. Yeah, he's done with that. And my other man eater is also fully done with masteries and I just need to level him up and that's it. Uh, he is fully booked and the other man eater i think he's also fully booked yeah i took advantage of that during cvc and also the seeker is fully booked so they're ready to go i have them prepared i have my pain keeper prepared as well i just need to level them up put some gear on them and then our brand new uh, clan boss team will be on the way so that is pretty much the update for my progression and hope you guys uh I, I wish you the best of luck if you are summoning anything during this 10x, okay? Uh, yeah, good luck if you're going for Madam Sirius, great. Stagnite, great. Deacon, great. Like, a lot of uh, solid champions here. But just keep in mind, guys, there is a fusion coming out. And next week is going to be a 2x Void Shard summoning. So, if you guys are... I don't know. If you guys want to try to go for the best um, variety of champions, then I'd probably say go for the 2x summoning. Don't go for a 10x Ursiga. Unless you really want one, you're close to mercy. That would be a different case scenario. But if you are just trying to get the ba best bank for your uh, buck, lack of a better word, uh, you're just the best chance to get more legendaries or epics, then wait for the 2x summons, okay? So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, like I said, I'm not in position to get this. And even if I was, I wouldn't go for it still. So those are my thoughts, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hope you guys enjoy my videos. And if you guys want to continue supporting my channel, if you enjoy my content, Make sure to subscribe. There are so many of out there that watch my content that do not, are not subscribed to my channel, about 70% of you. And it's a great way to show support to the channels you constantly watch. But yeah, I uh, it's it's up to you. I really would appreciate it, but I don't want to force it on you. Just, uh, just throwing it out there. So again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you guys enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.